Hey guys, I'm celebrity mentor stylist Ashley Weston. Today I'm joined by my girlfriends. We've got Kayla, Victoria, and Nisa. So today we are going to discuss some of the most popular men's fragrances on the market and give our thoughts and advice for you guys out there wanting to step up your fragrance game. Thanks so much to Fragrance.com for sponsoring this video and supplying everyone with these samples. If you want to try any of the fragrances featured in this video, see the links in the video description for details about getting samples and shop all designer brands to find your signature scent for a fraction of the cost. Okay, so how this is gonna work is we're gonna start with a cologne and I'm gonna have everyone smell it and then I'll let you guys know just the different notes that they're smelling and then all the girls are gonna let you guys know if they love the scent by taking a drink, but if they don't like the scent, then they will not be drinking and we'll get into the reasons why they don't like it. Okay, let's begin. Okay, so ladies, let's take out your Giorgio Armani scent. So some of the notes you guys are gonna smell will be salty ocean smell, some woodiness, as well as just a mix of spices and citrus notes. And then you're gonna have more subtle notes like geranium, sage, rosemary, so those kind of like more herbal notes as well. Now, if you love the scent, I'm gonna have you guys take a drink, but if you didn't like it, make sure to not drink at all. All right, so on the count of three, if you love the scent, take a drink. One, two, three. Uh, it just smells like something my dad would wear. I don't know, it just sticks in the air. I can still smell it. I feel like this smells like a grown ass man. Like, I spray literally, literally a squirt and I can still smell it and I love that. So I love to know that cologne will last all day. I, I like that it's not too strong, it's not too harsh. It's just like a pleasant fragrance. <laughs> Kayla and I felt like the scent was super just overwhelming, super common as well. Like we've smelled this like a lot on men and it just doesn't feel special enough. Okay, so next up, everyone get out their Dolce & Gabbana scent. This one has basically like also a salty, oceany smell as well, but there's definitely citrus notes like mandarin and grapefruit that you're gonna, you should be able to smell. And then a tiny like slight pepperiness, like spiciness as well. Okay, so Dolce & Gabbana fragrance. Ladies, if you liked it, take a drink. Yeah, we got three quarters of us liking it. Kayla. <laughs> it's so strong, it's so overwhelming. I just didn't love it. There's like this weird, spicy, musty, mm -mm, not for me. When I smelled it at first, it was a little very pleasant. And then at the end, I got a stronger scent. Um, I don't really like the musky scents, but I just got a very small part of that. And it just lasted for a quick second. When I first sprayed it, it smelled amazing, right? I apparently like the oceany smell, but the longer it lingers on your skin, I don't know if I really like the smell. Maybe it's too oceany. As you can tell, the ladies and I are pretty split about what we do and don't like in men's colognes. So that's why we partnered with Fragrance.com and linked all the scents in the description below for you to try at home. Fragrance.com is great for getting samples or full-size bottles of colognes that you can try at home and shop all designer brands to find your signature scent for a fraction of the cost. Okay, moving on. Now I want everyone to take out their coach scent. With the coach scent, there's definitely more of a woodiness you're gonna smell. And then you'll you'll have some top notes of kumquat, some pear, as well as bergamot. You're also gonna have like a slight spiciness to it. This is definitely gonna be very aromatic though. Ladies, if you liked it, take a drink. If you didn't like it, don't take a drink. One, two, three. What? 50-50 again? <laughs> this is amazing. This smells so good. This is great. It smells very attractive. Like, if someone has this on, I'm attracted to you. Even if you're not attractive, I'm attracted, you know? This smells like baby powder to me. Like, I don't know. It doesn't smell 
masculine. It smells really feminine in like old grandma kind of way. I don't like the muskiness of it. It's very strong. I feel like I can wear it as well, like almost a perfume. So I would not want my man wearing this. Okay, so next up, we've got this fragrance by Yves Saint Laurent, YSL. It is an extremely popular and highly rated fragrance. So for this fragrance, you're gonna have some notes of bergamot, anise, which is like, you know, a, it's a spice actually you find in pho, interesting enough. Some pepperiness, but you're also gonna have like a middle note. You, you should be able to smell lavender and as well as just like some florally notes as well. And then you should have like a base note of like patchouli. So that usually is what grounds it, makes it smell more masculine, feel more masculine. So let's get everyone's thoughts on this guy. Okay, so for the YSL fragrance, ladies, if you loved it, take a drink in three, two, one. <laughs> Finally, a consensus. We do not like this one. <laughs> I just don't like those musky scents, to be honest. I don't know. It's too way too strong. It's way too musty. I mean, I love pho, but not on a man. Yeah, this is definitely for the guy who is trying to be someone that he's not. Like, you know that he doesn't really have knowledge on colognes, but because he's been hearing that this is the best cologne, he's gonna go ahead and get this cologne for the specific reason of trying to get girls, but really, you don't know what you're talking about. No, this is not good. Let's get out the Dior own fragrance. I'm gonna have you guys take a sniff of this one. So some of the notes you're gonna definitely smell are citrus, some lemon, lime, as well as some grapefruit. And then you should have some like woodsy notes, like cedar, but also like ginger as well. And then you should be able to smell a little bit of lavender. So you got kind of a floral component to the Dior own fragrance. If you ladies love the scent, please take a drink. Come on. I feel like Nisa and I, we just see eye to eye with this. It smells like potpourri. It smells like car freshener. Like I just went through the car wash and they gave you one of those free car air fresheners. I normally like the citrusy scent, like a little bit of musky, a little bit of citrusy, but that one was a little bit too citrusy for me. So. It's a very nice daytime smell, I feel. And um, I don't know, it just smells very fresh to me. Like I'm attracted to you once again. Like I want to come to you with this scent on, you know? I 1000% agree with you. This scent, it smells like a man because it has those woodsy notes to it. But then that kind of like the citrusy notes that you're really smelling, the really, that freshness makes me want to just like, again, like it draws me into you. It makes me like, it, it just, there's an attractive, there's a sexiness. Like I feel like this is like a sex ass man that would wear this scent. All right, ladies, thank you so much for joining me today. And guys, I hope you loved this video and you found it super helpful. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.